This was the loft we saw earlier. Can you see anything? Nope. Not a... A lot of stars. This is like her little kingdom up here, isn't it? Sam was into astronomy, remember? Or was Marianne into astronomy and she left that book at Sam's? Here, found a switch. <gasps> Once upon a time. Oh, holy shit. Well, that shaved a few years off my life. There was a young princess who felt hopeless, I think it said. Okay. Whoa. Little creepy. A lot of paint. It's her story. Look, she left us something. Hi. Or are. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Oh, God. Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah. Let's start here. What is Mary Ann like, um, like a, an actual princess from like an actual fairy tale land and she got trapped on Earth? All right, where do we start? I don't know where you would start. I guess this right here. Once upon a time, there was a young princess who felt I hopeless. This. Yeah, it's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? Oh, God. Well, here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Okay, spot the differences. Um, castle. Oh, there's multiple differences. This is one. It moves. Oh, some of these parts are buttons. The hand is another. Um, I don't know which one's the hand, though. There's two of them on the hand. The Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the go or not. Wait, I don't get it. Or not. Okay, weird. This is not there. Huh. No goblins. Yeah. In the original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the mad hunter. So we saved Marianne from something. But not in this version. Tree's different. Hmm. Maybe that branch looks a little bit different? I don't know. The princess is running away from the Mad Hunter. Who was sent by the Gold Lady, according to the story. Do you think the Gold Lady could have been Marianne's mom? I mean, she always used to say she moved to the end of the world to get away from her family. Huh. Yeah, you're right. This is also different. She ran away. Uh, it's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. The, he's actually a little different himself. So the face is the same. The hat is a little different at the tip. But you'll notice that the face is far higher above the trees. Does his smile look different to you? It's just addressing the smile. No, the smile does not look different. All right. So I'm a little worried that I'm bypass. Is this is this like the ultimate goal here or is this just the first of many? Figured anything out yet? Nah, still figuring it out. Okay. So then what? I, I, I'm pretty sure I got it all. 
Like, those are the same right there. Although there are different stars behind the snowflakes, I don't know if the stars mean anything, though. I don't know. Leave. Crafty goblins, good Why deeds. are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I don't know. The cruel parents kept her locked away in their musty palace. God. Hmm. It looks like that little piece should move, but it's stuck. Maybe these need to be done in order. The Mad Hunter seems to be first. What do you mean the Mad Hunter seems to be first? Oh, I gotta solve that one first. That Mad Hunter. Gotcha. All right, I wanna look around real quick. Okay, so that's a puzzle too then. Okay, spot the differences. I feel like I've got it all. Is there, how do you complete the puzzle? Okay, spot the differences. Well, here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between the two mean something. Hmm, something about Marianne, right? Since she's the princess? Yeah. Why don't we try to find them all and then see if it makes any sense? I did. I found them all. The kids aren't here. The hand is different. She's over here. The castle's here, but not in the other one. That is different up there. The tree, I don't know why. Oh, the tree isn't different. I am so stupid. Even if the branch is a little different, I don't really, that's it. Whoa. What's in there? Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. No, we need to examine this document, Pictures, girl. Pictures, letters. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Mary Ann. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. Did you know she studied engineering? No, but it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled, like someone tried to throw it away. The parents. Oh, Marianne, I can't do this anymore. You do. You deserve better than cliche bullshit. Like, it's not you, it's me. But the truth is, it's all just been too much to deal with, and I've realized I'm just not ready. Maybe if we could have dealt with all this on your own, without your mom constantly putting pressure on us, things could have been different. But the damage is done, and it's probably too late for that now. I'm so sorry. You're an amazing person, and you made me a better man. I hate myself for doing this, but I feel like we'll both be better off apart. There I go with the cliches again. Please don't ever stop being who you are. Here, but I'm gone. Brent. That doesn't necessarily mean it's... Has this a, guy been any more cryptic? Doesn't mean it was their dad. You think the guy with her is Brent? From the letter? I would guess so. Okay. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. What little light? I'll take your word for it, I guess. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. So this is the like the wicked stepmother? Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before The princess dancing, playing Sorry. violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures? I don't think she was having any fun. Um... The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. 
Uh, broken heart. What's the gold lady doing? Whispering something into someone's ear behind the princess's back. So obviously I'm, I'm wrong here. So there was a parrot. That was the pet. So that one's definitely right down here. She was a ballerina. She wasn't a janitor. She wasn't a, is that a, a seamstress or something? That's a musician. No, she was a ballerina. Engineering. I don't know what that is. Is that like finance? No comment. Medicine. What is this? This looks like a flower. This looks environmental or. Is that oh, that's it? not a flower. It's that's opening. a opening. That's a gear. Never mind. What's in there this time? This is a little weird. All right. No comment on that, I guess. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Let him know you're interested in the house. Um, Salmonberry Park, Kodiak Island. Oh, good gravy. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Marianne when the whole town was turning on us? She escaped a cult. From the good people of Salmonberry Park, Kodiak Island. June 92. Don't be a stranger. Keep on looking for those answers to the questions in your head to which you were blind. We miss you already. Sorry we're losing you to modern civilization. We'll miss your positive attitude and your adventurous spirit. Alright, this doesn't sound like a cult. Um, also, your wild edibles picking skills. Oh god, Marcus. Bon voyage, Marianne. Marianne, you had the warmest, most beautiful aura and I know you'll keep on shining wherever you land. Peace and bled it. blessings. Thanks for being our little ray of sunshine. Godspeed! I like your pictures. Thanks, Kamala. Appreciate that. This is a long one. It says dad. Her father. Her dad, then. May 1996. Marianne, I hope this letter finds you. But since you didn't leave any contact information, I'll have to send it to your aunt. Hope for the best. I'm writing to inform you that your mother passed away last week. Just had her funeral reception. The house has been filled with people all day. Friends, family, colleagues, and church members. It's now 11 p.m. and I'm sitting alone at the kitchen table, surrounded by dozens of trays of food, flowers, and sympathy cards cousin 80 brought in a beautiful photo album full of our holiday pictures in la connor you're there in all of them but you weren't here today we haven't heard from you in four years and can only hope you made it to alaska or wherever you are and that you and your child are both safe uh-oh so not from Alaska. Aunt. Child. Not children. Child. So does that mean there is a third person? The person who set fire to the barn. Was it maybe not the dad? But her, perhaps a jealous sibling? An angry sibling? Maybe she gave the kid up for adoption. Had two other kids. The original kid grows up, finds out who his mother or her mother really is, finds out she's had this life with these two other kids and is, is angry over it. Your mother had been sick and depressed for years, and you can imagine why. The pain of being shunned by her own daughter, 
knowing she would never get to see her grandchild grow up. It spread through her body like cancer and consumed her completely. All this suffering simply because you ran away like a temperamental little girl instead of accepting her help when you got pregnant out of wedlock after dropping out of college and without a penny to your name. She only stepped up to help because she knew you weren't ready to raise a child properly, Marianne. Your mother's duty doesn't end when her children leave home. Now that you're a mother yourself, I hope you'll begin to understand that good parenting isn't about coddling children. It's about providing for them and shaping them into the people they're supposed to become, whether they like it or not. I won't trouble you again. You've made your intentions clear. Just thought you should know. Dad. Huh. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long-lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried. Who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. Uh, he wants answers, though. I think he would be wanting to find out if there is a, a just lit up, third so sibling. I think we're supposed to try this one next. All right. Before you get there, girl, hold on. So this was... Her cruel parents kept her locked away in their musty palace. We'll get Crafty to those goblin later. Letter. Let's finish this one, okay? Oh, settle down. Okay, okay. One day, she took her tiara and ran away to the forest. What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. Remember, there's salmon berries in Stardew Valley. They're the cheapest fruit in the whole damn game. All right, so I'm not sure what I need to do here. Is there something in here? Is there a map of sort? That's the gold lady's castle. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Am I supposed to? What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely some sort of clock. This is the princess's room. It seems like it's not doing anything. Maybe it's broken. Or maybe we just don't have the right, right thing, guy. Um. What's that plant thing on top? This looks like a dinner party with the old bit, some sort of clock. This is the princess's damn it. Why is nothing happening? We're in the princess. Wait, let's. Go back to the very beginning. Um, there we go. Listen to two thieves, makes new friends. Uh, I don't know. I was looking for something that, that may be about her escaping. I don't know what this puzzle wants me to do. So we've got the castle. She went from the castle to pick salmon berries or went to the party. That's a party right there. This looks like a dinner party. So what's the clock? 
with the old bear and the very old beaver. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Some sort of clock. This is the princess's. Come on. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear. Some sort of clock. What's that plant thing? This is the princess's. Come on. No, can I talk to you? You need help? Yeah, yeah. I'm stuck. Any ideas? Hmm, a clock. What do you think this is about? She had that watchmaking job in Juno, right? So that was probably right before she moved to Delos. Oh. So that's Delos. So it goes from there to there, but I, I, I picked that all, right? That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. No. You need help? Yeah, I'm stuck. Any ideas? What's up with the salmonberry flowers? I think those probably represent the commune she stayed at after she moved out. So what's up with the party then? Oops, I didn't mean to select that. You need help? Yeah, I'm stuck. Any ideas? What's the deal with this picture of the princess eating dinner with her animal buddies? Well, the beaver is Eddie's mother and the bear is Sam. And we know she met Sam and Carol after she moved to Delos. Oh. So what's that plant thing on top? Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. I was thinking that was the destination, but I guess not. I guess that is. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Yes. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's loss. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. The princess's loss. Once upon a time in an ancient and deep forest, there lived a wise princess in a big wooden house. She made it through the woods and to that house with nothing left but the clothes on her back and a single item from her old, her old life, a splendid tiara. She lost almost everything in her desperate uh, flight from the Mad Hunter. Her flight from the Mad Hunter. So she, the Mad Hunter is from below, before the kids. So the Mad Hunter is, um, again, possibly her, their dad. Um, probably not her dad though. Or either their dad or like a, or, or like a second husband or a first husband or who knows. The trees tore the rucksack from her back and shredded her dress and left a pattern of red welts on her skin. But through it all, she clutched the tiara close to her chest, fearing any misstep could cause it to fall from her arms and break. The tiara had its own spot in the big wooden house, a pillow near the window. Uh-oh, that's our next stop. Where the sun would catch on its surface to shine and wink. The princess would stare for hours at the tiara, marveling in its beauty and running her thumb down its curves. Every morning she would wake, and she would tend to it, polishing its every service to be sure it shone as brightly as it possibly could. Then she would pluck it up, place it on her head, and walk the woods, feeling somehow more complete. Because what, after all, was a princess without a crown? Every night she would place it on its pillow, give it a quick kiss, and go to bed. On her way... She would pause and glance back to be sure it was still there. She hated to be separated from it. She knew it was the safest on the pillow while she slept. Okay. Oh, another document. One night, the princess woke to a raging storm. The wind howled against the walls, rattling the windows in their panes. Fearing a gust might burst open a window and blow the tear up to the ground, she plucked it from its pillow and brought it to bed with her. All through the night, she held the tear close, and in the morning, she woke to find herself still cradling it. The storm had passed, and the princess relaxed. The day, that day was the same as any other, though she perhaps gave the tear an even more thorough cleaning, grateful as she was that nothing had gone wrong. That night, she placed the tear upon its pillow, gave it a quick kiss, 
went to bed, pausing on her way to be sure it was still there. In the morning, she woke and sensed immediately that something was wrong. In the living room, the tiara lay upon the ground, broken, dull, and faded. Nothing else was in the room. Nothing else in the room had changed. The pillow was exactly where she had left it. The window was closed. There had been no storm, no wind, no sign that anything at all could have gone amiss. Only the broken tiara, mute upon the ground. She picked it up and held it in her arms with a guttural cry. But though she tried to fix and to polish it, it was gone, beyond repair, no shine left. The princess held the tiara through the day and through the next night, sitting in the same spot at the window where she used to polish it. When the sun rose, she looked outside and her gaze fixed on a sapling. She remembered how the sapling had survived the winter, clinging to life despite the frozen, unforgiving earth. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. She was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure, treasure and her title. It was just the two. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. in a way because and then she made her way to Delos Crossing the community didn't approve of she a child out of wedlock happy but then the baby died I can't even imagine how she must have felt she left everything behind built a whole new life for him and then he was just gone I guess having us helps her move on but when it looked like we were going to be taken away she snapped she just couldn't lose any more children it really wasn't anything we did I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but... All I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah. But we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Uh, are we gonna find a baby buried by the tree in the backyard? I'm wondering. Not that I'm going to okay, dig it up. Okay, so how do we open it? Slow your t roll, Turbo. Um... We'll get to those later. Oh my Let's god! This one, okay? <clears throat> the princess lost her most precious treasure. That's why it all happened. I still can't wrap my head around it. All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> um. So it's the same on each one. So we get R L O S E. A. Um, R L O S E A. What was that noise? Here, the secret keeper, hiding secrets in the clouds. Oh! Back in your pond, big frog. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. The ice king goes in the forest, obviously. 
I missed, I missed three. Oh. Excuse me. That's the pious pelican spot. Crafty goblins go here. The wise princess goes in the big wooden house, of course. The moon hag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. The mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. So I missed, what was it, four total? Okay, um. I don't know what. All right, I don't know. should be easy enough. <laughs> Is this an R or an N? Because they're practically the same thing, depending who writes it. That's why I don't like cursive, because people get sloppy. People do things a little differently. LOL. Um. What? E O. A O. Allison Ollie, although Ollie wasn't his original name. We don't know what his original name was, right? And he went by Ollie, then he went to Fireweed and and chose Tyler. But we don't know what his actual first name is. Also red, orange and yellow. What does the red, orange, and yellow signify? That, that's got to be something, right? No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that. What do you think? Can I talk to you? No? The princess lost her most precious treasure. That's why it all happened. I still can't wrap my head around it. Oh, there's letters on the back of the doors. God bless America. Why is that blocking it so much? Jeez. E-O-L. Why don't we just break this open? There's a crowbar right downstairs. What? No. You don't want to try and figure out what all this means? I'm so done with her riddles. Although, I think EOL is the wrong order now that I think about it. Hold on. Yeah. So we did O first. O. O L E. Ole! That crowbar is sounding pretty nice right now. And they only go one way, too. God bless America. Ole! Ole! What do you mean? O. L. E. Ole! Red, orange, yellow. Oh, yellow O, red L. That crowbar is sounding pretty nice right now. Um, wait, red was, oh my God, I've already confused myself. Yellow O, red L. That crowbar is sounding pretty nice right now. Yes. Leo was his name. Named after a constellation. Sam likes astronomy. But Sam was after. It can't be Sam. Whoa. Did it just get darker in here?
Okay. A baby blanket. Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. Dear Allison and Ollie, I was her son. We write stories to understand and to be understood. But what good is a story without a first act? Sorry I kept mine from you for so long. All my love, goblins. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Baby's buried out there, guy. Is that... Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... She left a note for you guys. Hard. So obviously, yeah. yes. There's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. We must dig up the body. Come on, let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. Oh, they're going... All right, they're not going to dig up the body. I'm sorry. I may have gotten a little excited ahead of myself. Can we look at the other things now? Are you going to let me? Hey, crafty goblins, good deeds. Thank you. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Oh, my God. The crafty goblins, good deeds. Is this something that, um, oh my god. This, th this, this could take forever. Remove the thorn. Scratch. Feed. They helped fix the beaver dam. Or not. <laughs> oh my god, this could take forever, right? Um... Cause I'm not gonna remember all this. The bear's big paws. Once upon a time in deep angel forest, winter gave way to spring. Oh my god! I don't. Am I gonna have to read the entire book in order to do all these puzzles? The crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake, which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. And you put... Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Princess and the Two Thieves. All right. Was the other one just confined to one story, too, and I just didn't notice it? Oh, uh, lived a wise princess. Uh, uh, the princess was not native of the forest, but she never spoke about where she had come from, for it made her cry. Um, she did not have many friends, but that was how she liked it. The forest was big and deep, and uh, she knew the forest by one more day. Uh, the princess realized that food was disappearing from her house. Not much at first, but only a few fruit, fruits and nuts and eggs vanishing during the night. Probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Uh, the food. Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit. Maybe it's the birds. And for a time, the princess is okay. For the winter, and long creatures needed to eat too. But then small items started to spring. Spoons, plates, forks, knives, and blankets. What if they took some spoons? What's this? Some flour for the cake, maybe? Maybe not. Did they steal candy? Wait. Okay. Um, that can't be birds or mice. I think it's a thief. So she went inside looking for traces in the snow uh, in the wind, but there was nothing to be found or be heard. That's strange. Maybe the thief is hiding inside my house. For many days, she went out looking behind the curtains and under the bed, in the attic, in the chimney, behind the poles, and under the carpets, but she found nothing. And as she searched, food kept on disappearing night after night. I'll make a cake. A big cake with every egg and fruit and nut I still have so that I only have one thing to keep my eye on. She spent the whole day making the cake and using everything she had left. Cake she made was so big she could hardly carry it. If I manage to protect the cake, I'll be able to survive the long winter. So she added a lock to the oven. She kept the big cake safe inside. But the next morning, the lock had been opened and the cake had disappeared. First, the princess cried because the cake was the last of her food until snow melted. And then she noticed two trails of tiny feet in the spilled flour. 
and she will follow the tracks to a hidden hatch in the floorboards. I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Oh, the eggs. That's it. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. Why is she hey, hiding? Now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these. The crafty goblins, good deed. All right. Crafty Goblin's Good Deeds. Is there an actual story named that? No. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I... All right, the pelican. New princess and two thieves makes new friends. Uh, the, the cake you stole. A friend? What is that? A friend, a friend is someone you love, care for? Uh, I don't think the answer is in here. I think we would mind if she just took a little. I don't think this is it either. I'm a pious looking. I'll share my food with you, but you must return. Okay. I don't think that's it either. Nope, not that. Isn't the party. Earn their voice. Frog is punished. Goblin save the old beaver. Irritate the Ice King, forgives the goblins, goblins meet the Ice Troll, trick the muskrat. I don't know. All right, hold don't on. don't really remember. I don't remember either. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we open up the book and check? The bear and the princess. Was it this story? I don't think it was. It was. Wait, is that the same image? It is. Hold on. Uh, you come down. How do you know? I suppose this is a fair question. Maybe the old bear. Maybe you trust the old bear, except that he had kind eyes. Uh, of course, kind of walking you back to your house after the day, the prince would occasionally find gifts from the bear. A fresh caught salmon, a handful of ripe berries, a newly bloomed bluebell. Some roses, maybe? No. Maybe not. A newly bloomed bluebell? Yes. Some honey? No. Wait. Huh. Fresh caught salmon? Hazelnuts. No. Maybe not. A handful of ripe berries? Uh huh. Nice. God. Man, he had it bad. Just couldn't let go. Sorry for the note under the door, like a prison inmate. You okay? I stopped by and rang a couple times this week, but you didn't answer. I could see the light in the hayloft, so I figured you were in, but didn't want to talk. I hope I didn't ruin everything. I know I probably came on kind of strong, but the thing is, I don't know how to talk to a woman like you. You're strong and kind, and you know so much it's hard for me to know how to keep up. I guess all that went to my head, but I want you to know I got the message, and I'm going to get out of your hair now, and it doesn't need to be only bad feelings. We can pass on the street and say hello or not. It's okay. P.S. I noticed your car was leaking, so I put some sealant in there. You might need to take it to the shop, though. Let me know if you want me to come with you because sometimes these guys try to rip you off. If not, no big deal, Sam. Okay. Glad I got that one. And what do we got here? Very old beavers repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah. What did they do to fix it again? I have no idea. Uh, okay. The beaver fixes the house. There we go. 
Um, but if you want help with the roof, uh, you may uh, pare down the roof and the walls. They examine a bent support post. I could throw my body against it. So roof walls and support posts. Huh, she fixed the roof shingles. She fixed the planks that were blown off the walls. She slapped the post with... All right. Why were these three so easy, but I, d I can't yeah. do the first one. That must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he, um... He doesn't really like to talk about her. Dear Marianne, cover your ears every time I try to have this conversation with you. So I thought I'd have a better chance doing this in a letter. I know you don't like saying goodbye, so I'll keep my melancholic rambling short and sweet. I want to thank you with all my heart for taking care of me these past few months. Can't even imagine how exhausting it must have been for you to look after a sick old lady when you also have two small children at home. I know you want me to keep fighting this disease and hoping for recovery, but it's always been a great strength of mine to know when it's time to let go. Time has come. I'd like to ask you for one last favor. Please take care of Eddie after I'm gone. My poor boy puts on a brave front ever since his father died, but I know he's in pain. I would be so much more at peace knowing he still has family. Maybe he could teach the kids how to fish. I love spending time with them. Thank you for the warmth and the peace you brought to my life. Give the kids a kiss for me, will you? We're not going to find out who the father is, by the way. See? Even she's like, I need to do this Crafty one. goblins good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. All right. I'm, I'm ready to do this one. I was right the one time. It is the pelican forgives the goblins. I just didn't read far enough. So I was getting on the tear and it's all about food and whatnot. But look, they found the stalwart moose struggling with an itchy, hard to reach uh, spot on his well, back. Well, what did they do? Uh, and they saw the gun. They, next, they helped the old bear who could not uh, get the you honey. gave the stalwart moose a good scratch. On. And they climbed up on uh, the roof of the tree, the hive. And blah, blah, blah. They finally found the princess crying over a loss she would not speak about. So they wrapped their little arms around her in a great big hug. Stayed until she felt better. When they were done, they returned to the pious pelican. I'm back. They broke open the beehive for the bear. Wait, what was the other one? Bear. Hug. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Nailed it. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. The Pelican Crossing is a specialty gift boutique located near the O'Shea Glacier. Catering to Gastineau Channel tourists as well as Dale's Crossing locals, we specialize in an assortment of high-quality products from home accessories, handmade souvenirs to personalize uh, apparel, uh, and locally made art. Pelican Crossing will be the first store to act as a relay between the buzzing arts and craft scene and customers. In addition to a wide array of novelty handcrafted products, the consumer will enjoy friendly and knowledgeable customer service from Vecchi store owner Tessa Vecchi and up-and-coming artist Marian Ronan. Business plan is prepared uh, to obtain financing the amount of $20,000 to purchase inventory and to help cover expenses in the first year of operations. In year one, uh, the Pelican Crossing plans to break even. In year two, we plan to generate a moderate profit. Working on the executive summary part of your business plan. What do you think? Our, our business plan. Ours. Okay. So I think that's it for this place up here. I missed three, four things. I'm not terribly worried about it. Um, I don't know what it would unlock, but I'm not sure it matters all that much. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's skedaddle. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Yeah. Either way. I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. Let's bolt.